in this series, I will give you an overview of what I plan to build in 2022. The first project is to modify my Gen 18 bolt. It's a good bolt, but it's just too big. I will tear it apart and make it smaller and lighter. The second project is about building a 12 feet long modular sit on top kayak. I have a sheet of 4 feet by 8 feet foam and I can build a foam boat weighs about 20 pounds. I will also experiment with a new idea to attach the modular parts. I also want to build a 10 feet long foldable boat which can be folded to the size of a carry-on luggage for transportation. This will be a very challenging project. I am also investigating a very simple pedal drive design, low cost and light, easy to build, and I hope to use that drive on the foam boat. In this coming months, I want to finish my version of Bixp motor drive. I bought all the parts a year ago, but didn't have time to work on it. I will discuss more about the other projects in my future videos. In this video, I want to share how I will build this Bixby motor drive. I want it to be under 8 pounds, including the battery. I mainly want this as a backup in case I'm too tired to pedal back to shore. I can have a 240 watt hour lithium ion battery, which is under 5 pounds. It can provide constant current draw of 20 amps. Therefore, I have to select a motor that will draw 240 watt max. This battery and motor setup will give me around 45 minutes runtime, or longer if I run the motor slower. I'm not sure how fast this mini Bixby can push me. Looking at other products in the market, with a 300 watt motor, it can push the kayak to 5 miles per hour. My expectation is very low. I will be happy to get 2 miles per hour with this 200 watt motor. Local regulation is if my boat has a motor, it has to be registered and get a license. I have quite a few boats and I don't want to do that. It's too costly and time consuming. Therefore, I have to make this unit as stealthy as possible and I cannot mount it like a Bixby. I plan to use it like an outboard motor. Then I can retrieve it faster if there are marine police around. Hopefully they will not catch me using it. The design of this unit is very simple. Basically it's a motor, controller and a battery. The cost of the motor and the controller is less than $40. The battery will cost around $100. I will share my progress in my next video. If you like this video, please support me by giving me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel so you will be notified when I upload my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.